So we know that there's an Xperia event on the 14th of April. We think it's obviously going to be the Xperia 1 Mark III. So I had put together this checklist of everything that we think we want to see, we need to see in terms of improvements, and one thing that I was worried about. And then Zach Bucks has completely changed my plans by posting the full leaks on Weibo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very quickly run through everything that we wanted to see, and then we're gonna just go straight into what Zach Bucks has told us is actually gonna happen according to his leaks. But by the way, if you're a Sony fan and you haven't subbed, you've gotta sub because we will be doing literally in excess of, I think, well, let's just say, loads and loads of Xperia 1 Mark III videos, even more 1 Mark III videos than we did 1 Mark II videos, and we did a few thousand of those, I think. So the stuff that we really wanted to stay, we didn't want to lose, was obviously the headphone jack, expandable storage there with a micro SD card slot, uh, the 4K 21 by 9 OLED display, um, no notch, of course, stereo front-facing speakers, wireless charging, side sense, all of the good stuff we wanted to stay, well, it looks like it's staying, but then some of it we needed to improve, right? What did we need to have improved there? Well, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, according to our friend Zach Bucks, that's happening. That's great news. Front-facing camera, we still don't have information on that just yet, but I have a good feeling that's going to improve. It certainly needs to. Now, in terms of the display, we were talking in the past about rumors surrounding a 15% increase. Well, it's going all the way up to 1,300 nits, and that refresh rate, 120 hertz. With 4K, I mean, I, if this is true, everything I've said so far, based on the leaks there. This is, from a scale of one to 10, with 10 being take my money, this is 10. I wanna know if you feel the same way. Do let me know in the comments section below. But there's more. There's gonna be apparently two memory configurations, 12 gigabytes and 256, and 16 and 512. Battery-wise, again, more good news. 5,000 milliamp hours here, supposedly, and support for 65 watt fast charging, matching the uh, uh, one plus nine pro I think if I remember correctly wow but now let's get to the most exciting part the camera tech around on the back here last time around of course with the Xperia 1 mark II, still my daily driver it was a 12 megapixel uh, triple camera setup this time around all oh, things have really improved so the main camera here it's not 12 it's actually 64 megapixels this primary camera here it's backed up with the 12 megapixel sensor here for wide angle photography um, Sony's also giving us, according to these leaks, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. That's the one that's gonna have the periscope system, which is, you know, supposedly gonna give us this lossless zoom and potentially compete with the likes of the S21 Ultra. I mean, there's even mention here of a 60 times zoom. Sony is not playing games. Now, there is one thing I wanna add. We've seen in this um, report here, this leak, that there's potentially Sony cyber shot um, technology and expertise coming into play here. Now there are, that could be true, we don't know, but it seems like that could be based on a translation error. Things may have gone a little bit ski whiff there, but whether that happens or not, again, We've gone from a fantastic phone with a One Mark II to something that is potentially going to be able to compete with anything. There's only two things that can go wrong at this point. Actually, make that three. The first thing that can go wrong is the price. Now, I'm not too worried about that because, you know, this is a very, very um, specialized product. It's not going to be mass appeal, we know that. It's not gonna sort of compete with Samsung or Apple in terms of numbers, or you know, we know that. But it just needs not to cost more than the One Mark II. So what's Zach Bucks telling us here? If we work it out based on the current prices, you know, the market conditions and so on, it looks like it's gonna come in just under a thousand pounds, around about the same or a little bit cheaper than last year. If Sony can pull that off, I mean, this is really gonna be something. I would argue, even if the prices are the same as last year, it looks like Sony's onto a winner here. If it's even better value, yeah, this is, this is still a 10, this is take my money territory. So what else could go wrong? Hmm, there's some mention here of a dedicated Google Assistant button. Well, it's not been labeled as a Google Assistant button, but I'm worried that's what it could be. 
Now, I absolutely love the Xperia 5 Mark II. I was only loaned that device for a tiny, tiny amount of time. I wish I could have had more time with that device. I think I had it for about a, a 10 days or something like that. If we have a Google Assistant button on the One Mark III, I'm gonna feel a little bit cheesed off. Now, thanks to the, some of the very smart um, Sony Xperia fans out there, there is a link which we can put in the video description below where you can potentially remap that button and you know it's not going to be quite as annoying i really hope sony isn't going that route uh, only time will tell but that's something that could potentially go wrong here i mean let me know what you think maybe you love the google assistant button some people do uh, okay so the third and final thing that can go wrong here would be the launch event which is obviously going to be online only is a huge success everyone is just so excited about this new device even the kind of, you know, the usual tech YouTubers and tech brands that are kind of dismissive Xperia devices, even they are like, hey, this is really something to take seriously. We love the way this is shaping up. And then Sony needs about six months to get the device ready to go on sale. And then all the kind of excitement and it, it all just fades away by the time it's able, you know, you're able to buy it. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Anyway, let me know what you think as ever. This video was very quickly thrown together because it's based on these leaks that just happened and it's nothing to do with the script that I'd actually written. Um, make sure you're subbed and you hit the notification bell because as soon as we've finished with the live event, we'll have a video ready for you. And that one, you do not want to miss. And, and don't forget, if you're in the market for a 1 Mark III, a 1 Mark II, a 5 Mark II, or anything Sony, make sure you click the link in the video description below to sign up to our newsletter with all the best Sony deals, which is going live very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have you subscribed to the channel? If you do, make sure you uh, hit the notification bell as well because we have some really good content coming up. You don't want to miss that. Let's get this guy here. Also, if you've got any comments about bonsais and how to cut them, leave those in the comments section below. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Also, let me know if you uh, if you know where I can get some scissors that are appropriate for this kind of a task. Uh, I fear these are entirely wrong. This is tricky. These are difficult to keep alive, you know. This has nearly died on several occasions. I can't believe you're still watching this.